Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look at how to shoot your dragon. And this is specifically taking a look at how you can contribute your photographs to Odonata Map, which is the African Atlas for Odonata or Dragonflies and Damselflies. So, first thing you need to protect to prepare yourself for battling your dragons is patience, enthusiasm, and of course, a camera. And when we say camera, don't panic because we don't mean that you need a really big fancy uh, DSLR camera. You can use a point and shoot, you can use your cell phone. As long as the species is identifiable, it's fine not a photo contest. Then next step is find your dragon. So go have a look near or around any body of water, rivers, lakes, wetland areas. Um, but surprisingly, not all dragonflies or, or damselflies are found near water. Sometimes you can find them quite far away from water. But um, yeah, any natural or man-made water body is always a good point to start. Then step two, shoot your dragon. Uh, try to get as up close shots of the dragonfly or damselfly as possible, because this will help with identification. Um, and photograph as much detail as you can. So get a nice close up of, of the body, of the eyes, of the patterning on the wings. That will all help to contribute towards identifying your species. Then the best way to help the ID panel is to try to get three photos, front, side and top. For the side view, get as low down as possible and get the thorax as in focus as possible. If you have a choice of photos, try to include one that shows the veins of the wings in focus. If you only have one photo, don't worry, please submit. The golden rule for the virtual museum is if in doubt, submit. Step three, upload your dragon. So upload your photos to Odonata Map at the vir on the virtual museum website, which you can see the URL is displayed here on the screen. Um, you can submit up to three photos per record. So one species equals one record, and you can upload up to three photos. Um, we've also, we also have a guide uh, available to show you just how exactly the process works of uploading your photos in the Virtual Museum. And I'll post the link to that underneath this uh, video. So just go take a look um, under this video and you'll find the link there. Thank you. I hope that was useful.